crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, and Maisie. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi everyone, I'm here with Zoe today, and we're gonna do a video about preemie clothes. So, um, I've had quite a few questions about how to find preemie clothes for your reborn dolls. Now, Zoe here, she is made from the Pixie Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And she is about, if I remember right, she's about 15 inches. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about finding, how to find some clothes for your 15 inch preemie reborns. I would say anywhere between like 14 inches to 16 inches, um, those kind of reborns. So right now she's in a monkey sleeper that her auntie, I believe Auntie Marilyn gave for Christmas. And it's by Jimboree. Now, Jimboree here in Canada, they used to carry preemie clothes. Not a lot, but they did have some. Now it seems like they don't carry them at all, and I don't think the U.S. Jimborees carry them anymore either. But um, as I talk, I'm going to change her into this children's place sleeper that says up to three kilograms. It might be a little big on her, but I know it's probably too small for my other babies, so we're gonna see how it works out. It's pink with stripes, and it has little bunnies on it, and it says made with love. So, um, it is a little bit of a challenge when you have a reborn this size to find clothes to dress them in. Um, I kind of found when I first got her that all I was finding in stores for her were sleepers and onesie and footed pant sets or just onesies. Um, and that was it. That's all I was coming up with because generally speaking, when it comes to real uh, preemie babies, you want them to be comfortable, so you're generally going to dress real preemies in sleepers and onesies. So that's why that's what you're mostly going to find. But I did get a little creative when it comes to dresses. I, I'd like to be able to have her wear dresses. So I'm going to talk a bit about that. So first and foremost, I have now, there was one preemie website I had ordered off of before. And I actually ordered off of them before I even had Zoe because I was making little 10 inch dolls and I wanted to find a little receiving blanket to wrap them in that wasn't like a normal size receiving blanket because otherwise it would be way too much fabric to wrap them in and I had found this preemie website that had preemie sized receiving blankets and they were perfect for those little 10 inch dolls. Unfortunately just before I made this video when I was trying to find the link to it it wasn't coming up. I'm pretty sure it was called preemie proud and I can't find it anywhere, so I think they're no longer in business, unfortunately. Um, however, when it's come to Zoe, I have bought quite a few things for her from the Preemie store. And yes, this means you're going to have to go on and purchase online. And yes, it may mean paying a little bit more money than what's in store. Um, but that's why she doesn't have a ton of outfits because A, they're hard to find, 
and B, um, if I'm looking for specific kinds of outfits, I'm going to have to pay a little bit more. So I would only get maybe like one or two pieces from the website. Um, I managed to find her a gorgeous little Christmas dress on the Premi Store website. Um, you guys have probably seen it. It's like a little knitted one that has a husky on it. And it is the perfect size for her. Oh, I don't think I should have chosen to change her in this little uh, egg display. Because <laughs> it keeps wanting to tip over. Um, but this is mainly just to chit chat. So I'm almost done changing her. But um, yeah, so I found that dress and that was really awesome. I also found preemie sized uh, tights on there to go with her dresses. Uh, I found two different styles. They are a little bit loose on her. They could probably fit a 16 or 17 inch doll a little bit better, but they work really, they still work well. Um, So that is the Premi Store, and it is premiestore.com. And you can go in and search by size, because they have all different sizes of Premi, depending on how small or big your baby is. Um, they have all kinds of outfits, onesies, sleepers, hats, mitts. I even got her little Premi mitts, anti-scratch mitts. Um, from there and that was awesome uh I'm trying to think what else I got from from there for her I think I got a three-piece outfit by Cushies one or two of those that were really nice a little big on her but still work so, you know, you can, you can um, find some good stuff there. Uh, another website I came across in my search for this video. Now, I haven't purchased from it, but I kind of browsed through it and it looks like they have some nice things. Is perfectlypreemie.com. So that's another one you can check out. And then there's another one that I came across, and again, I haven't purchased from them, but again, they looked like they had some really nice things to choose from. And uh, though that one is called Premi Clothes Mart, Premi Clothes Mart .com. And I will link to those websites uh, in the description below for you guys if you want to go and check them out. Um, let's see what they got. I might check them out towards the end of the year because right now I'm saving for my trip, but I might check them out to try and get her some new outfits because some of the outfits she has now I'm getting a little bit tired of. So I'll see what they have. Okay, so um, the other options you have, Carter's, uh, the Car Carter's does carry some Reborn. I believe if you are in the U.S., the U.S. Carter's carries a lot more preemie than the Canadian stores. Uh, we don't have as much preemie stuff in our Carter stores here in Canada, um, it, sometimes they get some in, sometimes they don't, but Carter's is a good place to check. Now again, you're not going to find things like socks or tights or dresses. You will find probably three piece sets that consist of a short sleeve onesie, and a, either a long sleeve onesie or a long sleeve side snap shirt and either non-footed pants or footed pants and then sleepers. Um, and you might be able to find some packs of uh, preemie 
onesies at Carter's. Uh, another place you can check is Bye Bye Baby. Sometimes they have preemie. Um, I'm sure probably the Bye Bye Baby in the U.S. is even bigger than Canada. But I know that when Marilyn and I were recently at Bye Bye Baby over here um, near Vaughn Mills Mall, um, they had some preemie clothes there that were really cute. But again, they were little cotton three-piece sets or raw, uh, or uh, sleepers and onesies and stuff like that. Um, but you can definitely check that out. And in the U.S. Walmarts, there are preemie clothes. Uh, we definitely don't get preemie clothes at the Canadian Walmarts, at least not that I have come into contact with. I have not seen any myself. Um, so, I, I've only seen preemie clothes at the U.S. Walmarts. But if you live in the U.S., go check out your Walmart. Um, some other online places to look is Etsy. You can search in Etsy for preemie clothes and um, various shops should show up with clothes that they make and sell and those would probably be some unique clothes compared to other places. You can also check out Next Clothing online and Mother Care. They tend to have some preemie sizes as well. Now the final two options I want to talk about for reborns only, you would definitely would not use these with real preemie children, but with your reborn dolls of this size, you can try American Girl clothes. And I've found with American Girl, uh, now I haven't tried their pants, but I heard someone told me that they did try American Girl pants on their um, preemie reborn doll. And they did not work because... American Girl dolls are 18 inches, so they're taller. So the legs on the pants were too long for the Reborn. But what, so definitely we know uh, American Girl doll pants will not work for uh, re preemie Reborns. But what will work is the dresses. And it's very hard, as I said, for real preemie clothing, it's, there's hardly ever any dresses made at least not that I've seen they're very hard to come by dresses for preemies so when you have a preemie reborn and you if you want to put a dress on them American Girl doll dresses fit to perfection they're not too long they're the perfect length they're the perfect they fit all around perfectly so American Girl doll dresses I would assume probably since the dresses fit, the shirts would probably fit, but then you would probably have to use like a pair of preemie sized pants from like a Carter set um, that would have to go with the shirt. But definitely the dresses from American Girl fit. So if you're looking for dresses for your preemie dolls, I say go get some American Girl doll dresses. Um, American Girl doll shoes probably are, are not going to fit. Uh, I've tried it. <laughs> um, they're way too big. I don't really have any shoes for Zoe. I use some preemie socks for the most part. I also have had a couple of people from Etsy knit, custom knit for me. Um, preemie booties that look like shoes for her um, and I've had to just give them the measurements of her foot in that and they've made them and those are nice so maybe you know go on Etsy see if you can find anyone that knits baby booties or things like that and then they can maybe um, make you something in that size the final option is Build-A-Bear clothes and those are sort of hit and miss 
The dresses uh, from Build-A-Bear, they do tend to work if you're looking for dresses as well. Build-A-Bear dresses work. They're a little baggy, but they work. Um, <clears throat> and I have managed to get Build-A-Bear shorts on Zoe, but again, they are a little awkward in the fit, but they work. Like, you can make them work. So if you're looking for shorts for your Premi Reborn, you can definitely check out Build-A-Bear clothes. And, you know, you can buy, like, shorts individually, or you can even buy a set where it's, like, um, a shirt and shorts set. And it will fit your 15-inch Premi Reborn. So that's about it. And as you can see, Zoe has a perfectly sized lovey for her. This came from her Auntie Nicole. I have no idea where she found such a tiny lovey, but it is literally the perfect size for little preemie reborns. So if you keep an eye out, you can look for little toys that are like this small. Um, another probably nice little toy for uh, for a preemie reborn to hold would probably be like those, what are they called? Tsum Tsums from, Dis from the Disney store. Tsum Tsums. Uh, those seem to be a nice size, I think. Uh, anything that's um, not overly big as a stuffed animal. Something nice and dainty and small that they can hold. So... Yeah, and then also I would say for a preemie reborn, if you're going to make a pacifier clip, you would want the pacifier clip to be a little bit shorter. Uh, yeah, you would want the pacifier clip to be a little bit shorter because they're shorter. If you put a normal size pacifier clip, it would be hanging like all the way down here. Um, if you're going to make bracelets for your babies, definitely, you know, preemies would have a smaller wrist than the newborn size. So, you know, just be sure to measure your elastic before you make a bracelet. Also, someone made her, uh, Beth from Dolphin made her some footless sandals for her tiny little feet so that she can wear sandals in the summer. So that's another idea. Um, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to make footless sandals. And so you would just have to adjust it uh, to measure the elastic length that you would need for such a tiny foot. Um, I believe the videos on YouTube for tutorials on how to make footless sandals show you how to determine how much elastic you'll need for what for the varying sizes. I think it even show some of them show them measuring on a child's foot so you know how to get the right size for their foot. So it would be the same thing for a preemie reborn. So I hope that this video has been helpful for anyone out there who's trying to figure out how to find clothes that fit their babies. Um, I will say this. Unless you can find a really tiny, tiny bib, which sometimes some makes are small. Overall, though, most bibs are huge on preemie reborns. So just be aware that they, you just, usually you can't find small bibs that will be small enough to fit them. They're kind of a one size fits all sort of thing. And so they will be big on your your preemie reborn but anyways guys like i said i hope that this video was helpful to you and uh i wish all of you luck with your preemie reborns finding some nice clothes for them and hopefully this gives you kind of like a nice starting place uh definitely like i said i think you know google is your friend <laughs> That's how I found the websites. You just type preemie clothes in Google and you'll get all sorts of options popping up. So good luck everyone. I hope this video helps you. And Zoe's looking super cute. I hope you enjoyed seeing her. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. 
when I hit 50,000 subscribers, there will be another giveaway. I'm already putting some pieces together for it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.